for me it's always been about the music. I kind of leave all the business and the splits up to my manager and I don't really even know how many percent I have of this song. I don't really care about that stuff. At the end of the day I, I just care about if it's a good song or not. And I've just always been in it for the music. My inspiration can like come from a lot of different places. When I listen to songs, I, I try to like analyze the tracks and try to figure out how they produce certain parts or how they got that sound to sound like that. And then I kind of just go in the studio and experiment. I might be inspired by one song and then go into the studio thinking I'm going to produce a song that sounds like that, and then it turns out, you know, completely different. I guess it just, you know, sparks like an, an idea and like I just love to sit and play around and experiment and kind of let, let the track kind of take me wherever, you know, I feel like you know, going. In the beginning I had, you know, this idea of I wanted my music to be like well known and famous, but I didn't want my face to be famous. I kind of quickly, you know, understood that that's not possible. People are curious to see, like, oh, well, who's who's the person making these songs? And I think I had 80 or 100 thousand likes on my Facebook page before I posted a picture of myself. Like, no one knew what I looked like, and that was definitely you know, a big step for me to like. It was it was weird suddenly, you know, being recognized, and it can still be still be weird. I'm definitely not in the like in music to be famous. That's kind of the, the backside of everything for me. I'm, I've understood that it's, it's part of it and I'm comfortable with it now, but it was definitely, you know, for me it was definitely a big challenge in the beginning. My, my dad has been like always very interested in music, so he like we listened to everything when I was younger. So I guess just a lot of these classics are just songs that I love. I guess it started out, like, I did a remix of uh, Marvin Gaye's Extra Healing which I was kind of scared of doing because it's perfect, like the song is a classic for a reason because it's perfect. To mess with that, it's kind of like, you know, scary. I posted it on SoundCloud and the response was amazing. People like seem to really appreciate, you know, hearing classic songs in like a new format, a new version. I guess it's just songs that I, I like and that I feel like maybe I, maybe I can try to you know, play around with it and, and try to give, this, give the song maybe a, a little bit of a new life or maybe a little bit more energy, produce it more like it, it would have sounded if it was produced today. And when it comes to artists that I work with today for like original songs, I just look for you know, talented people and there's a lot of you know, great songs that I get, that I get sent from different artists. And, it might be a great song, and I, but I might feel like it's not for me, but some demos I get sent and I feel like this, like I get really inspired by that song. And that's when I like decide to, you know, work on it. So I guess it's just in general, just look for, look for talented people. Palm Tree Crew started out with just being a very simple idea. We had this necklace with a palm tree that we decided we wanted to give out to our friends. People seemed to really like the idea of that palm tree necklace and everybody was asking, oh, can I, can I have one, can I have one? I guess after a while we, we decided, like, it seemed like the fans also wanted to be part of this. So we ended up, you know, making more, more palm tree necklaces so people could buy and like people could feel like they were part of the crew. And then we created the company and now we have the palm tree clothing, we invest in other, you know, startups. The whole idea was just this, you know, community of bringing people together and now we have the Palm Tree Festival where we you know obviously it's like a kind of meeting place for everybody that's in the Palm Tree crew or that's fans of the music or the lifestyle and then we can also bring the products that we have invested in and sell it at this festival so people can like really you know be part of this whole Palm Tree crew lifestyle. Me and my manager were very inspired by Jimmy Buffett. We met Jimmy Buffett um, a couple years ago when we started, like, became friends with him. There's a lot of similarities, I feel like, between my music and Jimmy Buffett's music. It's tropical, it's very, like, made for, you know, sunny days on the beach. And he's also, you know, a guy walking around with Hawaiian shirts and flip-flops and a margarita in his hand. And then we saw, like, what he did with Margaritaville, like how he kind of created something bigger 
for his fans. He has hotels, he has bars, he has like everything. We thought like this could be way bigger than just the music. It could be a place where, where fans of the music can meet other, other people that are also fans of the music and, and fans of this lifestyle. We kind of thought, why not? Why not try it? We've been thinking about doing the Poncho Festival for many years, and then we had the first one in Hamptons. It was like very like successful. Like people seemed to really love it, and then we went back and had it for a second year in a row in, in Hamptons. And we did one in Croatia. And we're gonna do a lot of those next year. We just feel like it's it's definitely the right move, and it, and and I feel like we can create something you know way bigger that can last longer than just the music. It can be something that can you know last for a long time. For my manager, he's always like, you know, always thinking he wants to have an airline, he wants to have hotels, he wants to have restaurants. And I think, like, we obviously want to make sure that everything we create is something we put, you know, our heart and soul into. We just want, don't want to, like, branch out and, like, do a lot of different stuff that we can't really, you know, make sure is, like, quality. I want to work with, with other brands that are doing cool stuff and have high quality projects. If I'm going to sell anything to my fans like I want to make sure that this is this is stuff that I would want to wear so when it comes to like clothing we did you know with Puma and Puma Golf we did a, a golf line like after like COVID I, I had a lot of time so I, I played golf all the time and Puma is obviously you know like brand that has like great quality on all, all the products but I guess in general it's always been you know about the quality and it's been like we want to create cool stuff for the fans and for the people that you know want to feel like they're part of the Ponche crew. We've been definitely looking at you know having a Ponche restaurant, a Ponche bar. If we just keep taking it step by step, we'll, we'll see how far we can take it.